I've flown a lot of airplanes on and off over the years and decided to get a helicopter. I have did a little bit on the flight simulator, but that was probably 10 years ago. And I've had those little play helicopters, but this is by far the most high performance helicopter I've ever attempted. It was broken, but I got a good deal on it, so I replaced it and set it up best I could. So this is my first attempt. Stupid for so many reasons. One, I'm missing a screw, but I'm dying to try this thing out. So that's the servo with the screw missing out of the control arm. I'm also going to listen to Kosho uh, 619 and put a longer control arm on there. I just haven't been to the hobby store, so I haven't been able to get one. Also the reason why I don't have a screw for that. It's a used helicopter. Uh, I've just put some new parts on it. I'm dying to try it out. So here we go. It's not that important of a screw. It's just the one that holds the servo arm on. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So everything goes pretty well taking off, but the problem comes when I land. I didn't think I'd be able to get back over to the helicopter pad. Again, this is just a really short flight because I know I'm missing that screw. But uh, I apologize, I fly out of frame. I don't have a, I have to get myself a camera crew. And when I go to, when it kind of moses back over, I go to land and it didn't go as planned. I was expecting it to push up a little bit and I give it some throttle and then when it went up too high, I smacked it back down. But you'll, you'll see all that. Back on there. Oh. Landing gear panic. Broke the landing gear, but it still flies. Heart's pumping a little bit. All in all, I'm happy with that. I don't think you could ask for that to go much better. Well, other than the busting the landing gear part, but I do have more landing gear at home. So yeah. No, other than breaking the landing gear, that went really well. First flight win.